welcome back all of you nana here and then uh, we are into the next session on this uh, self service procurement uh, we had a, a problem on the other day that we are unable to uh, whatever the disable the price override actually so let me go there and then do that actually. so uh, first of all let me first create an item right, we'll locate an item So go there. Product management and then go to product information management and then let's create a new item for this. Thing. So click on this. And go there. Click on create item. <coughs> I will now make a BPA for this item. It's okay. So we'll now do the descriptions for this one. So item is uh, JTEM for uh, desktop um, safety. That is item for JTEM. So take forward and run the description. And then the moment I commit it, the categories will be coming. Otherwise, categories will not come. Right? So I will go to the specifications and then I will not give a list price for this. One. So go to the purchasing and then let me give a list price. <coughs> My voice is audible now. Nah? Can you say it's okay? Yes, sir. Okay, thirty dollars, and then I will not give a save. I give a save, so you are saving it. So afterwards, we will not change the category to JTEN desktop because the EMP three has got a power to do it now. I am going to purchase it and then change it to JTEN desktop. Give it a tab. Not show. I will not do the desktop over here. Click on it, come it. That's it. So the item is now assigned to only the master R here. Now. <clears throat> Let's stop. Then uh, what else is required? So go there. Save and close. Desktop two. J10 underscore desktop two is now ready. We will now go there and then create a BPA for this. Now go on and create a BPA for this. Then go to the procurement. Go to the procurement. And then we will now create a BPA for this J10 desktop two. You go to the create agreement. So we are going to get the agreement. So supplier is ABC Consulting. Click on create. So since he is having uh, the uh, the EMP three is having powers to uh, do the shop on the. Category uh, desktop, so it will be coming. Click on plus one. Now go on. Item is a J10 underscore disk. So the desktop two has to come on. It was coming. So item is coming, coming. Okay, the price is now coming. When previously it was not coming, at least now it's coming. Okay, <laughs> there is some problem somewhere. Okay, so thirty is now coming. So item is not as fine. Click on edit. I'm going to edit. Edit the line. Of the BPA, so I'm not going to give anything at all. Minimum place, maximum agreement, everything. I think no price breaks, and then no images also. Fine. Uh, otherwise, I will not put an image. Uh, image URL. Okay, image. <clears throat> Article one dot two slash <clears throat> images. Okay, capital A. You can use the capital A. I will not say desktop item. Desktop item number one. So let me take a copy of this. I am put this as an image over here now. Image URL. Nothing else. I am doing it. So one one is added. So click on OK. Fine. Image is coming. One when you shop on it. <clears throat> and then we had oh, one one more thing is what the price override has to be removed. That is the main purpose. I came in. <laughs> Allow price override is not there. Okay. So it is not there. Allow price override is not there. So. It will be uh, basically what you cannot override the price. So thirty is a dollar. We'll will see about how it's working. And then you know, give a save and then uh, look at the manage approvals. The approvals have been spoiled or not. Right? Among the approvals, so it must be application developer has to come now, <clears throat> just to ensure that I'm having a like application developer is coming. Thank you, Sir. Now, so you're submitting five two three zero zero. Give the note back. Zero zero is the one. 
So I think we can all see this. So go to the manage approvals, go to the manage agreements. <clears throat> and then by 2300, we are going to make a query now. And then let me remove the buyer name and then make a search. We are given all the buyers, everything now from the pending approval. Still going on. Okay. In the meantime, we'll now go here and then we we'll now we are we have already logged in as what as one and I'll now go to the home icon. We'll now go to the home icon. So here I will now go to procurement and then I'll now go to the purchase requisitions. Now he the MP3. So you know, go to have a look at the purchase requisitions, which he can very well do it now. So you must be able to shop on the desktop too also. So I will now drop down by category. I will not choose the so many things that are already coming all over again. I will now choose the desktop browsing and click on the desktop browsing. So in this, the desktop two item has to be there. You are not given any image. Thumbnail image is not being given. So desktop two is coming. No thumbnail image is there. So you will now try to shop on and click on this. They are not going to shop on. Just stop things coming. Come on. They are not only image. Right? No image. Only when you here the image has to come. Not not coming. I don't understand. We are given the image for the product actually. So you are now going to add to shop. I am going to say I will now make it as three. And then here I am not having any authentication to modify the prices basically. And then click on add to cart. So price is now thirty, but we are unable to do it. So we will now see. On this place, the ones when it goes in. So it will not get added to part. So there I will now modify the prices because price override is not there actually. <coughs> if it is still allowing, that means it is a bug actually. There are many functional bugs are there here and there, <coughs> which Oracle has to address. <coughs> it is added to this place now. Right? I will now click on the hyperlink of this and then go to review and then there we will now change the price. We'll see what happens. The price is not editable, you see. It is not editable. Good. Correct. This is what I want. So the price must not be editable because price override is not allowed on the BP at all because it is referencing the BP here the bottom. So that's okay. So this is not coming correct. So on the other day, it was coming and so it is our mistake and not the system's mistake is my price override of there actually. So it will not go to the Bombay residence directly to the express location. So I will not go there and then you can even modify if you want, otherwise whatever you can submit for it. So once when you submit for it, since the automation is now fully set, right? you will be getting 204, 201, 204, 201 is the requisition now. 204, 201 is the requisition, the PR. So for which you will now get a PO also coming up for a minute. I will wait for some time now. <coughs> so 204, 201. So the PO will be getting automatically created. So you'll now find the PO number very soon over here because of the automation. <coughs> so click on the one. The two zero four two zero one of the one. So the order number has to go. So this is the process. So in the meantime, we'll now go on and have a look at the smart form of it. Now how is that? Click on the one. Well, now I am in the cat admin area. Go there. So I will now go to. The catalog administrator. You now go to the catalogs. So go to the procurement and click on the catalogs. We will now have a look at the smart form about how we have configured that now. We will have a look. We'll now go to the manage smart forms. Uh, we have configured one of the smart form now. We'll now see but how it has been configured. So go now. So JMC find the one. And click on the uh, J10 AMC for 15 laptops. You now click on it. Now have a look at about how it has been configured. So this is the non-catalog request, which where it is a more than the description-based uh, uh, purchase requisitions or orders we are making. It and a lot of flexibility. So we are given the instructions. Okay, fine. So this is the instruction just to go to the supplier. Actually, you will see whether this goes as the instruction supplier or not. Fine. So the instruction text is there. Fine. Uh, JDMC, check for a, a virus every seven days. Fine. We'll now see whether it goes as an instruction to supplier or not. Yeah. Right. So something has been going on. The computer browsing. 
negotiation it is all editable these two fields i can even say negotiated also fine you put negotiated it will be automatically getting a particular one it will be that is this is called touchless buying and then for touchless buying we need only the what's called your uh, uh, purchase officer and the configure procurement business function i don't know how to run so here we don't can answer i will not show done come out of it we will not have oh sorry <clears throat> we'll again go there go to this place and then go to this place uh, for touchless buying we are going to have what uh, the purchase officer has to be enabled and then the tick mark for auto conversion also must be enabled we'll now go on and have a look at it. so that both the things we will not check whether it is there or not check on search now it is a configure procurement business function configure procurement business function you know more and then choose the obu <coughs> drop it down how you use on this is in it so click on okay here the buyer is there and then auto generate orders right this is what order generate orders from uh, requisition lines source to agreements fine that is okay now it is not having any agreements actually uh, so enable automatic sourcing to contract purchase agreement is also okay fine uh, there is so no that is there this one auto generate orders from requester negotiated request on lines for touchless bank we need where is it In... requester negotiated request on lines what is it uh, here uh, go to your right side uh, sorry left side sir left side okay okay yeah. <laughs> so on the left side is there so auto generated orders uh, from requester negotiated requisition like this this is responsible for touchless buying it fine this is not for so enable automatic sourcing to contract purchase agreements for cpa sourcing is okay fine this is automatically generated requisition lines from sourced agreements this is for a normal one fine now this is a touchless buying it but let us go okay so calvin drop is there fine so uh, the buyer must be there and then touchless buying is also enabled so yes. yeah tell me uh, what will be the action of this bypass approvals for automatically submitted orders i don't know <laughs> bypass approvals for automatically i mean all this uh, whatever approvals you are configuring it will now go as only automatic i think probably even if you are configured something somehow. okay okay so i think it will now go as automatic okay sir automatically sir you can even enable this this is a better one actually so that when something is now coming from uh, somewhere some other external modules maybe is there mm -hmm. external modules like inventory is asking for something or manufacturing is asking for materials you may have to bypass this internal approvals okay. internal approvals are for what mainly for authorization of your uh, uh, what's called a purchase orders actually so that may not be required because somebody else is asking for it so why to authorize right? mm -hmm. so that may be the reason that you are being the bypass good 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 So all these things are there. Uh, uh, you just make an R&D and then and then do further R&D on this stuff. Right? And the configure background business function. Everything is now enabled. Touchless buying is enabled. And the bypass approval is also enabled now. But it is giving a very gay one that uh, it is automatic bypass for automatically created orders. Fine. It's okay. Whatever it is. Now this is all done. Now I am going to point. We will now go to this place. Where is that one? Uh, this one. Smart form. So here. uh we have attached the template so this this template this template means what it will be asking for the name and city it will be asking for the name and city so we'll now see on the purchase order the name and city is coming up or not so once when the requester put a negotiated tick mark so it will be automatically converting into a purchase order in which the name and city has to go as an attachment whatever he is giving on the requisition lines and that and then afterwards what is there so we have given an attachment also uh we are testing this now fine we don't know what exactly it is going to be It is the internal requisition. I will not do supplier. Okay, I will not make it to two supplier. I will not see, but how exactly it is coming? So two supplier. I am now making it. So one attachment, a document has been added. It is a simple document only. Right? It is a word document, right? an attachment document, and then attachment card admin. So we have an attachment here, and then we have a what's called your a, a VC template is there. Fine. And the, the demand thing will be asked now. Right? That's okay. <clears throat> and then we will save and close. So we made a small modification. Now let us ask this people. To, uh, the requester is now going to shop on J10 AMC 15 laptops as a smart form. Seven plus. We'll now go there. In the meantime, what about you? Now have a look at it. Man. We are done, and then come back. The order number would have would have come by this time now. Click on it. We'll now say click on it. You would have got the order number now. Two zero four two zero one. Yeah, order number has come. So let us now make a self service receipt for this now. Now go and complete that receipt. So sales service receipt. We are going to complete it for this uh, desktop too now. So it is good that uh, the price is uh, not modifiable at the requisition lines. 
So if you allow that, then only it's coming. Fine, that is tested actually. You know, go to the home and then you know, go and make a self service. Go to the procurement and then go to the my receipts is the SSP receipts. This requested is not doing it. The requisition number is what? You go there and then put the requisition number 204201. <clears throat> 204201. You're going to do it. I'll now make it in God any time. You click on search now. You're going to make it as a <clears throat> So EMP3 is requested for this one. He got it now and for that tomorrow he is going to receive it. So that is now already. It is to expense destination and so it will not contribute to the inventory assets actually. It will go as a fixed assets. I don't know how to make it as a fixed assets. So it is a, it is a company's assets actually. You know, it will now retire over a period of time also. It's all possible. So all these self-service procurement things in our company in Oracle, all the laptops which are purchased will now retire in three years. Then afterwards, I can again uh, raise an, uh, what's called another purchase requisition for another laptop. And so we will be having one extra laptop after every three years, actually. So that grows as an asset. But I don't know how to configure that. If anybody knows it, please uh, teach us now. So I'll not say quantity. Show receive quantity. It will not show the quantity. For which you have to have the, what's called the receiving parameters set at the master log level. Remember, because it's in the master log. Only the receiving parameters will be there. And then that will be responsible for giving you the GRN number also. The GR number also will be coming and show the zips and then we will now submit it. <coughs> so, no thing, no, 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 so much what I meant. <coughs> so, the reserve quantity has to come now. And then we can even uh, give the baby bill, baby bill number and then the packing slip number, which are now affixed on the consignment which has been sent to the Bombay residence of the employee. Right? So, you can add it. So, they are all mainly for value additions only, nothing else, nothing big down this now. <coughs> Is the one which I given the word. This image is not coming there at all. No? I don't know why it's so. The image is not visible at all. We are given it in the place, but still, it's not coming. I click on it. I'll make it as three now. Fine. Manually, I'll make it. I click on submit. So, click on submit. So, quantity is three. Fine. Click on submit. Whether it goes ahead or not, we'll see. It is not giving me the show of the quantity at all. <clears throat> the PO is already there for which. Uh, the purchase order number is also visible here. So it is also, but mainly the requester will be uh, querying on his own requisition numbers because he has only raised this requisition. So based upon it, he has to do. Right click and then duplicate now. So this is happening. You know, see this being right. So he is now going to do the uh, smart form requisition. He going to make a smart form requisition. So the email address is now going it's not going to no, it's okay. Now, you'll now go to the program, you'll now make a smart form requisition. Thank you for the purchase requisition. You're now going to make a smart form requisition. So go there. So here, it will all be coming under the request forms. In the request form, you'll be having a J15 one now. Oh, is there. Go down, go down, go down. We have it. So he will now click on it and then he is now going to make it. Now. Click on JVT. He is now making a smart form. So it is a non catalog request, which you do not have any item as such now. And then he is now going to what? <coughs> there is a standard class of what? Check the viruses and I think it will also be coming. So we will now see whether that goes as an attachment to the supplier actually. Now we have made a supplier. Value. So see, James is a check for it. So this is not editable actually. What have you written in the on the information that is not editable at all. Jaden AMC for laptops is coming. Request type, drop it down. Okay, the description itself is coming as a request type. Got it now, fine. The, the description, whatever you written on that now, and the, and the smart form that is coming as a request type. And then whatever we are given as a whatever as a text that is no, not editable actually. And then the item description is editable, and then the category name we can very well get. So category name is a mandatory field you have to give it. We are not given it the top time level. J10, and then we'll now make it as a distinct card. So it's a mandatory field, I have not given it. I will now make it as a negotiated. And so whatever the price is negotiated, not a thousand. I will now make it as what nine eight. So he has negotiated the prices with the supplier and then go there. And then uh, we will now populate a supplier also. And so that when he is negotiating, you'll be having a supplier also. Uh, he is now putting the supplier over here. So that the PO will be getting approved also. Once when everything is now done. When you're submitting it, it will be getting up. So, the bottom, what happens? We have the attachment is also going over there. 
and I'm going to be consulting. And then you know, fill up this information. Fine, go to Nana, and then I will give the city also because this is come from the VC template actually. So from the VC template, we are now populated this information. So this also has to go on attachment. This attachment also has to come now. And then it's negotiated. The supplier has been provided. Fine, that's it. Fine. So if you have an agreement, we can even populate that. So we'll now add to cart. Any other questions on this now? Hope that you are clear upon this now. The category has been given. For instance, cards. Everything is now given. So he is now making a non-catalog request. Fine, click on add to cart. By which uh, whatever you specified over here will all be getting added. So that you want to now go on and shop it. And then go to the purchase requisition and then we'll now review it and then submit properly. So the price is also negotiated. <clears throat> Receive items, what happens? That you created the following result numbers 3,300. So this desktop is now completed. So we have tested the what's called price override has been tested now. Fine. We are now going to go and then have a look at the shop. This one. <coughs> Click on the additional information. <coughs> That's the additional information for now. It says only the VC template, and then whatever we are given as a what check virus for seven days. Where exactly it is going to come, I don't know. Okay, we are given the thing as a check virus for seven days every seven days. Where is it? Are you able to see this now? That is not coming. And then the additional and the one attachment as a text now fine. That is also not visible here now. Come on. Oh, here is a you should control to select nothing is there. So here nothing is there actually, including taxes. It is not come to this place now. So let us now submit for approval. So 204, 202 will be submitted for approval. In the purchase orders, we will now see whether those attachments are attached. One is not coming, as well as the description we are given on the smart form. Sir, attach one is coming there. Where, where, where? Scroll down. Here. No, no, no. Scroll down in notes and attachments. Ah, attach one is coming. Yes, sir. Mm. Attach one is coming here. Okay. The attach one is coming here. But uh, the description which you have given is not coming. We are given a description huh? that is a check virus for seven days. Where is it? Okay, we'll now submit and see in the purchase order whether it is coming or not. Right? Visiting cards, the category name is coming, whereas the description is only blah blah blah. We are given that is coming, but uh, we have given uh, one uh, thing on the virus now, and that's not coming. So click on submit. We'll now see 204202 is now submitted for approval. So 204202. So 204202. Yeah. For smartphones. Okay, one. So we we'll know how to verify one. So once when it gets converted as a purchase order, <coughs> it has to have all the information over there. There's no completed. Right? The task is completed. Click on done. Now the PO process will now begin. Now click on done. The PO process will now begin. Hey, have I given negotiated? I have not given it. Oh God, I made a mistake there. I have not given a negotiation at all. Negotiated at all. So it will not create at all. So that is a mistake I made. So we will have to, what happens again, shop it and then do it now. So there is no only approved. So we only have to manually convert it. So that is the mistake we have made now. So we will now go to this place and then we will now create what? Go there, shop a category. And then we will again make one more. We made a mistake there. So click on Jaden. We have made a mistake there. <clears throat> So this this information also we have to see where exactly it is coming. The category name is JTEN listing cards. So negotiated as to be taken. That I have forgotten. This makes a touchless buying actually. The supplier is what ABC. ABC consulting is the one. So the minimum order. No, make it as what nine fifty. That was nine uh, nine fifty. So here go there. Get one. Actually. So 950 is a negotiated amount. Sir, you did it, I think, in the previous. Huh? Sir, you did it. Did is it so? Have I did uh, it? You made it 990, no? The and then, negotiated also, I ticked that. Huh? Okay, okay. So you're saying that it is also ticked. Right? So you don't know that. This time, I'll not make it in the Madras. No? There is Bombay, there is Madras. So if I didn't, then it has to create a purchase order automatically. Okay. I will now add to shopping cart finger. It is 950 and then the same supplier finger. So that is 990 negotiated district finger. Is there better? There is a Bombay and add to shopping, add to shopping cart. And then we will now submit it directly. So click on review and then submit it. So it is a 204203 now. Click on submit. So if the 204202 is not done, we will not try to 
have a look at the purchase order whether it is having it or not. So I don't know. Now go to the two zero four two zero two and then have a look at the purchase order created or not. So we will now click on the purchase order number. We will now have a look at it. So click on the purchase order number. This goes into a view mode now. It will not go into edit mode. So once you click on it, it will go into view mode. <coughs> Supplier is there, buyer, all these things are there. The virus check for seven days, they're not coming anywhere. So we have it number. I will now click on the attachment, it just gone there. I'm going to click on the attachments. The attachments. So it's the attached top one. Now it says what this is the VC card. The VC template card is now there, the attachment. So both the attachments are going over there. there you go. That is coming over there. Click on that. So attachment of the document is going to be. So this is now coming. But uh, my description, can we edit it? We cannot edit the open status now. The purchase order is now open status. Uh, we cannot view the detail section. So from this place, when you click on, you can only have a high level one. Okay? Go to the schedules. We cannot view the detail section. Status is open and not showing up. So let us not take the order and then I will now query for the manage orders. Here it is not giving you information of click on the map. So when you're clicking on via the requisition lines, the hyperlink is not giving you properly. So let us now go there and then look at the purchase order. I don't know, he will not be having purchase order. Let us now go there and click on it. Right here, I will do it. So click on the map. So we'll now go via the cat admin and then have a look at the purchase order. Because requesters will not be able to have a big look at the one now. They might have given a email indication in all these things and that uh, yeah, purchase order is also placed in the order copy. And all. But in the system, I don't know. I will now go to the ma manage orders and then look at it. The order number is so and so. And then remove the buyer name and then click on search. 1643342. And make a search. So once when you search for it, you will now click on the hyperlink on this now. It will now give you show details. That was not giving you any show details. So this will be giving you show details. On the line level, you know how to opening this purchase order go down. So we have a details. That, that details icon is not available when you're clicking on the hyperlink on the requisition itself. So this attachment is okay. The attachment is okay. And both attachments are showing over here. We have already seen it now. We will now click on the details and then have one. So this shows you that 990 is the one we are given now, and that price has been given. <coughs> So the requisition number is also coming back. Both the attachments are coming here. Click on we'll now click on the details and then have a look at it. So click on the details. You now see the line level details will now see. Go down, go down, go down. Accounts, everything is coming. Attachment is only coming. And the description, it has to come somewhere, na? whatever we have written in the smart form. Where it will be? Go the click on the number. It's not visible anywhere in the line level. We will now go and then look at it at the schedules and then distributions also. Whether it comes as an attachment here, notes and attachment. You know, go to the notes and attachment now, right? This place. Whether it is coming here or not, just notes and attachments. The notes and attachments go there. So nothing is there actually. <coughs> Note to supply, not to the very attachment, none. not coming here. So let us now go to the schedules and then have a look at it. Because that description is also very important. Now, find attempt to set a parameter name that does not account as scale log. So here we'll now click on the details number. So schedules will now have a look at it. Location is coming. So go there. Schedule one is there. Ah, uh, go down, go down, go down. Are yaar. So it's not missing. He catches that virus check every seven days. How it will go to supplier actually? That information we are unable to understand. Then go to the distributions and have a look at it also. Right? Distributions will know how to look at it. So you people make an R and D about how that uh, smart forms a description. The text has to go to them. So click on the distribution details. And then educate all of us about where exactly it is coming up on this. So here also you want that. So click on the map. 
you will now click on the uh, what's called it, the business intelligence option. Click on the view details. You will now see whether here anything is there. Or not. The view details. Suppliers, the task has been set actually there to check the virus every seven days. But uh, here is only the transactional part in transaction invoices. So intelligence also. Ah, while well, receiving it, will now see whether anything will now show or not. Know how that. So while receiving, whether we can get anything or not. So we'll now go to the what home icon and that this guy is going to receive now. What are the my results? Now we'll now put what 204202. We're going to receive it. My results will now receive it. So 204202. We are receiving it. Anytime. Click on search. Select it. It's all coming here. The requisition is coming. I will know he will now click on the requisition and how look at it. I want that seven days virus check. The purchase order we are seeing from here, we are not checking, checking the requisition. It will only open the requisition form, but we are unable to see that enough in this page. We are unable to see this. Ah, nowhere it is visible. Ah. So, I don't know visible. So, we'll go there, click on receive. So the quantity is now getting automatically populated actually. Fine. It is a, basically, uh, a smart form is basically what uh, is now coming as a USB now. The quantity is the amount actually. That's it. So click on done. Submit. So by which it will be getting done. Now. GRN number is now created. Click on again. That's it. Afterwards, you can only view the GRN number. 3004 is the GRN number. You will now click on it. You will now go to the manage receipts now. 30304 is going to make it. You can only view the GRN. Now see the receipt number is there. If you click on the receipt number, whether anything is visible or not. It shows you only this much. Oh God. There is a lab exercise for you. Got it now, fine. Jyoti and Nishta. Fine. That virus check. I don't know where to see. We are given it on the same. So in the smart form, we are given the virus check actually. That we are unable to answer. Click on it and now go to the catalog admin and I will show it to you. There is an important text actually, isn't it? So it is not either reflecting on the what's called your requisitions as well as purchase orders now. I am going to play this. So now go to the catalogs. And then we know how I look at the smart form again. So manage smart forms. Go there, click on the hyperlink of it. Smart form is now coming up. So instructions text where to see. Got it? Hello. <clears throat> what is there? Yes, sir. Yes. So this one you have to find out and tell us all of us about where to see this instruction test. It is a, basically a smart form instructions actually. A smart form is a non-catalog request. So description is also there. Uh, that description we are able to see, but instructions test is uh, not visible at all. In that case, we should not write anything. We should write everything on the item description. If it doesn't appear on the PR and PO, then uh, we have to write everything only on the description. Whatever he has to do, he has to only put on the description. Description is coming. Okay. This completes the smart forms as well as your uh, BPA with uh, no price overhead. Any other else? Awesome. The attachment is also going. Whatever attachment you're giving, that is also going there. Uh, the smart form, uh, the VC card is also going as an attachment to the software. But that's all okay. So this is the final session of the SSP now. Good then. So uh, I will now make uh, one uh, PO import and supply import whenever I get a mood and time when I will now upload it, with which we complete the second pillar. Now. The third pillar of uh, sourcing will now begin on Saturday at uh, 5 30 p.m. After uh, we complete the balance of receiving, we will now complete the balance of receiving on Saturday, and then afterwards we will now uh, go ahead on sourcing. Okay. Okay. Bye. Bye. Yeah. Bye. Thank you, sir.